Hi guys, today we've got the Founder Optics FOT106. This is a um, triplet Apple refractor by Founder Optics. Founder Optics is a brand that is designed in Japan and manufactured by a Taiwanese uh, manufacturer that's got over 45 years experience in manufacturing telescopes. So they've made scopes for a range of brands, um, including Orion. Now, what's unique about this telescope is that it is a triplet APO, uh, but it's got one FPL 53 element in it, as well as an FPL 51 element. So that ensures um, excellent color correction and in addition to that um, it's got a fully separated triplet um, lens and that is actually pretty unique in the industry um, at the time of recording there is only uh, one other brand that does that and that is Takahashi obviously the famous Japanese brand with their TOA series and that fully separated triplet design is widely credited for the outstanding performance that these scopes delivers so so that's what's quite special um, about this scope um, so it comes in at 106 millimeters in aperture and f6 so it's a pretty uh, fast scope for its size. Um, one of the other special things is the focuser. So the focuser is qu it's quite special as in it's a, um, it's a patented design and it's a hybrid between a Crayford and a Rack and Pinion. It's very solid. You can load eight kilos at least worth of gear on this. Obviously you got um, the one tenth um, speed adjustment there. And one of the unique things about it is it's got this lock button. So squeeze that in and then, you know, this isn't going anywhere. Um, so you lock your focus so you're not losing it. Um, obviously, you know, as you've seen, you can fully rotate this uh, in any direction. Lock that in. Um, it comes with two, two um, sizes, obviously. You get the two inch that I've got here. And these are all screwed in type of settings. So you don't you're not gonna be damaging any accessories there um, just press that in screwing there and then this is securely locked and it's not going anywhere um, it also comes with a one and a quarter inch adapter for that um, it's not very easy to see under this angle but um, it comes with a handlebar here um, when you need to take the scope off the mount um, and you need to carry it around obviously and it also comes with rails for a red dot finder such as what we've got here so I might just see if I can pan the camera around Let me show you that a bit better yeah so you can see the grooves go in here and you can put the red dot finder there. So it's a pretty convenient spot for it um, when you need a bit of assistance just getting to your target. Um, it also comes with a standard uh, Vixen shoe uh, finder scope type of base, which obviously you can use for you know a finder scope if you if you want to use um, uh, you know an optical one I guess or 
more likely um, for your guide scope. So you can put your guide scope in there uh, with your guide camera. Um, other than that, it comes with obviously the two rings. Uh, it's got a Vixen dovetail on it. Um, so it's pretty standard there. Uh, retractable dew shield. Uh, we can try and have a look at the lens here. It's pretty snugly. much and there you go so I have six six hundred thirty six millimeter of focal length on this so it's a nice uh, it's a bit of a sweet spot for for deep sky imaging um, you gotta be uh, getting a good uh, good framing of lots of deep sky objects um, it comes in a really nice uh, box, uh, carry case I should say, uh, so it's a, it's a hard aluminum carry case. So what's quite unique also about this offering is that, sorry about that, is that it comes with everything you need um, and uh, especially it comes not with a camera, but with the field flattener. So the field flattener on this is a um, just a 1x field flattener. Um, but it's all included in part of the package. And you can see here I've got it mounted on a 48mm uh, T-mount. Uh, that's one made by William Optics for my Canon RA camera. Um, so it's really convenient, but it also comes with the 42 um, adapter. So if you've got a 42 millimeter T-mount, um, you're covered. One of the other very unique things about this telescope is that each and every single unit is inspected and optically tested prior to being shipped out. Um, as you can see, they check, um, you know, a few different things, uh, but I guess the two perhaps more significant items that they check are the Ronchi test and the star test. So when you get a Founded Optics um, FOT scope, you're guaranteed the optical quality. Um, there's no guessing and hoping that, you know, the quality control went okay you know exactly what you're getting and that's definitely one of the uh, very unique offering in in um, in these type of telescopes and um, more so at this uh, this price point um, yeah then you got your little uh, instruction manual and uh, and yeah so that's uh, it's a bit of a an overview I guess of the of the package um, it's it's a really uh, it's a really nice scope. Obviously, it's got amazing optics with the two ED elements. Um, I don't think there are lots of uh, other scopes out there with that. Actually, I don't even know if there is any other out there that's got two ED elements in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it for for the founders uh, founder optics. Um, so this one that we've got here today. Um, that is the uh, 106 millimeter scope, uh, but they also do have um, an 86 millimeter uh, model, um, and it's got pretty much all the same characteristics. So it's it's f6 comes, you know, with the flattener, same focuser, same case. Yeah, so that's another view of the scope sitting upright. You can see the carry handle there, which makes it really easy to transport and carry the scope securely. Uh, so it's a convenient little uh, design feature there and with the rails for the, for the red dot finder. If you've got that on an equatorial mount, um, it makes it really easy 
um, to point to your target and doesn't take uh, much space at all. Here's a little detailed tour of the scope. Red dot finder is optional, it's not included by default. Nice metal cap. Fully multi coated, of course. You can see quite a few baffles in there. the one and a quarter inch adapter you get a little cover there if you want to lock in the focus knob to prevent it from accidentally moving but with the locking system on the focus so you don't really need to it's a 42 millimeter adapter for the flattener that's the flattener with the, the, the 48 millimeter adapter in there Inspection report, little instruction manual, and uh, really nice, really solid transport carry case, storage case. Very good quality. And here's how you go about um, installing the field flattener. So it's a two inch fitting. So you would need to remove the one and a quarter inch fitting if it was already in there. It would look like that. It's the one and a quarter inch fitting. So you need to remove that. And it's very straightforward. Just uh, Insert the fuel flattener in there and lock it in place. And that is it, you're ready to image. You can uh, rotate the whole focuser assembly with this some screw here. But if you do not want to do that, you can also rotate just here at the end um, to frame. that's uh that's a bit of an overview um if you have any questions let us know um and this is available in australia exclusively through pro astros 
So you can check us out at www.proastros.com. Thanks guys.